Welcome back to Fueling Jobs. We're joined once again by Dave Grottenthaler from Pittsburgh-based Croft Incorporated and the CEO of the Allegheny Conference, Dennis Yablonski, to get a final thought about what lies ahead in our region's energy future. And Dennis, I'll start with you. Talked about a lot, seven different industries, lots of economic and, and, and employment growth going on. What do you think, though, it's really going to take for our region to unlock its full potential in these areas? A couple of things, Bill. I mean, first of all, there's, as you said, there's a lot of growth in this area and a lot of jobs are being created. Um, and the first thing we need to do is make people aware of what's out there and the opportunities for careers, long careers here. And second of all, we need to make sure they have the right training and skill set and work on that. If we put the two together, that'll address one of the issues. The other issue is we have to make sure that we do this right. Um, and what I mean by that is, yes, we want to see the economic development of the potential of all of this happen, but we also have to make sure we do it with proper concern and attention to safety, to the environment, and that means water and air, and all the things that go around that. And I don't think it's mutually exclusive. I think we can do both, and if we do both right, I think we'll have an even better result than we would otherwise. Well, Dave, we talked earlier uh, about your role in water safety especially. I mean, what kind of a future ahead do you see for Croft and other companies that would like to be supplying these well, industries? I see water as the key enabler for the development of the shale gas here, but Croft also is <laughs> instrumental in boiler and cooling systems in the entire energy sector as it really relates to steel and refineries and coal and things like that. So as energy grows, as energy demands and needs grow, I see us growing and more good jobs being added to Western Pennsylvania and the rest of the country. Now, what would you say to other companies like yours that are wondering, you know, should I take a stab at getting into one of these industries and supplying them? Well, they're already doing it. Uh, what, what, what impresses me the most is uh, that small hotel that was on the verge of going out of business and now is burgeoning because of the gas and the other energy sectors. Uh, the restaurant that had one car in front of it now is full. So a lot of the small, non-marquee industries are benefiting from the energy sector and the, the expansion in Pennsylvania as a result. And Dennis, it, it really seems to be a, a transformative moment for our region's future. I really think this is, there's a lot of good things happening in the Pittsburgh region, but this is probably one of the ones that's really on the cusp of breakthrough into something that, as you said, transforms the region for the better. All right, thank you both. Appreciate thank it. you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, yeah. Bill. And let me take one last opportunity to offer up a great way to learn more about the employment opportunities in our region. ImaginePittsburgh.com, an initiative of the Allegheny Conference is an invaluable source of information about available jobs in our region, covering the full gamut of opportunity from laborers to executives. And you can find out more about that website or any of the other resources we discussed in this program by going to WPXI.com. As we've seen tonight, energy is a powerful driver of our local economy, and looking ahead, the seven segments of our energy industry will continue to offer economic and employment opportunities that will help this region to grow and to prosper, fueling jobs for our future. I'm Bill Flanagan. For Shelley Duffy, good night. Fueling Jobs was sponsored by Westinghouse, s and Bank, Penn State, Fayette, the Everly Campus, and by Croft Incorporated.